What's going on guys, you're watching the Mighty Gaming Channel, I'm the Mighty McGow, today we're doing the complete gun guide, uh, I'm gonna really try and rush through this video because the almost complete gun guide went for an hour, and I, this time I have more guns to go through so I need to rush or else it's gonna be another hour long video and nobody wants that. Um, it's also worth mentioning that I've only done the guns up to the latest DLC, I haven't included the guns for the Independence Day DLC. Let's go go go, rush rush rush, here we go. Starting out we have the 22 cal weapons, now they're the smallest weapons in the game, however they're still one hot, one headshot kill, so they're just as deadly as all the other weapons in the game. Obviously bigger full auto weapons are more useful, but these weapons being uh, mostly revolvers, they never break or jam, which is kind of useful. And the uh, ammo is super easy to get. Starting off we have the SP-101 Devel 22. As I said, the smallest gun in the game, it's kind of tiny, it looks kind of cool. But uh, headshots still kill one shot. Next up we have the PPK, which is the second smallest gun in the game. James Bond's favorite weapon also. Once again, as usual, headshots still kill, but the second smallest gun in the game. Next we have the Sleeper Cell PPK, which is basically an extended mag and sighted version of the normal PPK. It's also worth mentioning that this gun, the PPK Sleeper Cell version has the burst mode. Which is kind of nice. That was the sound of my last shot. Next up we have the target MP3. MP3? MK3. MK3. Um, once again, just a nice small pistol. Looks a little bit better than the PPK and the 101. Um, once again, small but mighty. Headshots still kill. Getting a little bigger, but still that quite was small. The sound of my last Very shot. light for those lightweight builds. Very good gun. Reloads pretty quick too. Next up we have the sighted version of the MK3. Basically the same gun except it has a red dot on it, which you can see hovering there. Looks pretty nice with the red dot attached. Right, next up we have the 10-22 carbine, the first of the um, semi-auto rifles. Uh, it is magazine reloaded. It is the smallest, weakest rifle in the game, but it's once again headshots still kill. It's slightly more accurate than those uh, pistols. Next up we have the Preppers 10-22, which is basically the same gun except it has a 51 round magazine and a scope for uh, your long range killing requirements. Pretty accurate, not a lot of power, but even, even with that small amount of power and a scope you can still get decent headshots from range. Pretty nice. Moving on we have the Civilian Uzi 22 pistol, once again a nice single shot Uzi. It definitely doesn't switch to auto. Uh, it looks pretty cool on, the, on your belt. Looks very cool there. Um, single shot only. Slightly bigger than all the other ones that we've looked at so far. Slightly cooler. Doesn't quite click as fast as you can pull it. That I think that's about as fast as you're going to get it. Also quick to reload. Moving on, we have this civilian Uzi 22 carbine, which is basically a longer barreled version of what we were just looking at. Which you can see they're hanging on his back. It's got the shoulder stock, the extended mag, and the longer barrel. Still single shot only. Sounds exactly the same. Basically just a more accurate version of the Uzi we were just looking at. Okay, next up we're looking at the Evo 3, which is the first of the 9mm weapons we're going to look at. It is... It only comes with the... Ultimate Edition of the game. Sorry, I had a mental blank for a second there. It comes on semi-auto and... Burst and full auto. Pretty nice uh, 9mm weapon, but once again, you can really only get it if, uh, if you got that Ultimate Edition pack. Looks pretty good too. Uh, does it come with the built-in Special Forces use weapon, ideally suited for shredding targets in confined spaces? Right, moving on to the next 9mm weapon. As I said, I'm trying to rush through this as quick as we can so the video doesn't go for too long. That was loud. When they come back... They'll get more of the same. Next up we have the P07, which is the first of the 9mm weapons. Once again, a reasonably small pistol. Definitely a bigger boom than the 22s. But uh, a very small basic pistol, as usual. Sounds pretty good too. And it looks nice on your, your uh, leg there. Okay, next up we have okay, the M17, so we're getting heavy. slightly bigger into the 9mm pistols. Sounds about the same. It's got an extended mag on there, which is kind of nice. Pretty decent gun. Next up, we have the P220-9. 
which is once again a bigger and more rare pistol. Sounds exactly the same. Looks pretty nice on your shoulder or on your leg there. Well, look at the grip on that thing. That's pretty badass looking, that thing. Still small, but still mighty. Um, next up, we have the G17, which is the Glock standard issue. Uh, it comes with single fire only. Sounds a lot more mean than the other pistols do. Um, looks good. Sounds good. What more do you want? Moving on, we have the Precision G17, which is basically the same gun, soon. except it has a hollow sight on it for that uh, little bit extra zoomage. It's pretty nice. It's not bad, actually, the zoom. You'd think a hollow sight wouldn't be that much zoom, but it actually gives you a fair bit. I mean, you can go from barely hitting that window to hitting that window every time. Okay, next up we have the G18 Auto Custom, which is a modified version of the Glock. It basically has the large drum magazine on it. It holds 50 rounds. You can only set it to full auto. It can't be fired in single shots. It is uh, one of the more crazy weapons in the game. That was my last shot. It does empty very quickly, however. Uh, next up, we have the SP5K Custom. Okay, this might be Basically a, uh, a variant of the MP5. It looks good. I like the way it looks. It's also got the holographic side on there, which is kind of nice. And it only sports single fire mode. Still pretty accurate. Doesn't sound as good as the Glock, though. Okay, next up we have the MP5K Spec Ops version, which is basically uh, the same gun with a better sight, and it also has full auto mode. Which is pretty awesome. After that, we have the JL94 Civilian, which okay, is basically the MP5 with the shoulder stock attached. Uh, no zoom, no full auto, just single shot. Uh, but once again, a bit more of a serious, a bit more serious gun than uh, than the other one. Next up, we have the MP5 Spec Ops. I have some news to share. Did I look at that? No, we've looked at that already. MP5A2, which is basically the normal version of what we're just looking at, does the same thing. Except it's got full auto as well. That was my last shot. Pretty nice. No scopage though there. And last but not least, we've got the MP5A2 Spec yeah, Ops. That's heavy enough. Which is basically a sighted version of the gun we're just looking at. It also sports full auto. Sighted full auto MP5, pretty nice. I'm out of ammo for this. Great gun. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that this check has the uh, this character has the L6 steel mace, which is pretty nice. If you haven't seen the steel mace before, it looks like all the other maces except it's solid steel. Uh, and that first character we looked at also had a decent melee weapon, worth checking out. I hope nothing heard that. If I can see real quick. <laughs> So he has the Bastard of Bellowy Wood, which is basically the best bladed weapon in the game. That's what it looks like. Um, it has the highest, like, stats for lethality, dismemberment, and speed, and quietness. What more do you want from a blade? As I said, best bladed weapon in the game. That looks badass, with that serrated edge on it. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the 45 caliber weapons, uh, starting off with the 1911, which is basically a 45 cal pistol. Pretty old school. Sounds badass. Looks badass. Shot. What more do you want? Um, you can also get the World War II Commander's 911 edition, which is basically the same gun, except it looks a bit more old school. It sounds and looks the same. It's just got a fancy name on it. And it looks a bit old and rusty. Uh, you can also get the Mac 10, which is basically the uh, ghetto gangster version of the Uzi. It comes with single burst and full auto. That was my last shot. Sounds pretty badass and it unloads very quickly. Um, the upgraded version of that is called the Mac V or Mac 5, which is basically yeah, a built-in suppression version. Enough. It also has single burst or auto. It's uh, got a gigantic suppressor on it. Like, look at the size of the suppressor on that thing. It's huge. Once again, another pretty badass gun. It also has a holographic really sight with a bit of scoping. Of local infestation problem. I'm out of ammo for this. Pretty crazy gun. Uh, next up, we have the Civilian Vector Ultra Compact. Um, single shot only, no optics, just basically a Vector pistol. It's down, but not out. Sounds pretty good. 
Uh, after that, we have the RTX Piranha, which is basically the red talon version of the gun we are currently holding. It is no sight. It has a very cool paint job on it. Uh, if I can see it on our leg there, we can see most of it. Has a double red talon stripe on it. Uh, single and burst only. Wow, that burst is so quick. I'm out of ammo for this. And last but not least, we have the Spec Ops Vector SMG. Uh, it's a sided version of the Vector, basically. It has a uh, burst, single, and full auto. One of the more badass SMGs in the game. I know a lot of people that consider this one of the best guns in the game. Just for its sheer speed and accuracy. Great gun. And it looks badass too on your back. Look at that thing. Even with the tack stock on there and the uh, drum magazine. Very nice. I almost forgot to mention this character is also packing the Uber Mallet, which is the uh, Thor hammer that everybody has been looking for. It has the Thor symbols on it and everything. Uh, it kills Juggernauts in about six swings. Actually, let's test that theory. Since I believe there's a Juggernaut over here. Does it actually kill a Juggernaut in six hits? Down, bro. You can't take a If I can, I, I like to hold on to something they carried. Helps to ease the pain. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep pushing. Then rest. Fourteen. Fifteen. Wow. I'm at fifteen swings and she's still fighting me. Can't let him grab me again, or else this is going to end badly. Wow, they must have nerfed the shit out of that, because it used to be 6 or 7, and now it's 24. What? But anyway, that's the Thor Hammer. Uh, it's been heavily nerfed, <laughs> by the looks of it. Next we have the 44... Magnum weapons. Um, I did have the original Model 29 pistol, but I traded it for something else that I needed. So I only have the Hunter's Model 29 now. Um, the original has the same capacity, just no sight. The Hunter's one has the, uh, I call it the Han Solo scope looking gun. Uh, it looks quite badass. The scope is actually really accurate. And it makes a nice big hole very far away. Great gun. Uh, next up, of course, we have the Vulture, which is the Desert Eagle. Uh, once again, a, it's basically a cannon that you can hold in one hand. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's probably the, definitely the loudest pistol in the game. Just listen to the echo of that in the distance when you fire it. That's insane! Uh, and it also pulls as fast as you can pull it. Now. Uh, which is nuts. Uh, there's also the King Vulture version, which basically has a extended magazine and the Han Solo type scope on there as well, which is just ridiculous. Um, and once again, it pulls as fast as you can pull it. Not an ammo now. Insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, following on that, we have the 50 cal weapons. You have the standard 50 cal rifle variant. This is basically a bolt action 50 cal. Kind of slow, but super powerful and super accurate. Is there a Zed's head I can blow off from here? Time to reload. Uh, only holds three shots though. However, the bigger version, the BFG 50, um, it doesn't have the sight or the, uh, the, s the suppressor on it uh, like the uh, Timberwolf doves, but it does have the. Um, magazine fed rather than the one two one at a time. It holds way more than three bullets though. Come on, come on, twist and push, there you go. So it holds six shots, no scopage though, but once again, you can fire it a lot faster. You're gonna go out and play kill, play, uh, kill Plague Hearts, that's the gun you want. And last bit, but not least, we have the M99X1 Timberwolf. Uh, probably the craziest gun in the game. It uh, It's basically the 
upgraded 50 cal rifle with the massive, massive scope on there. And a built-in suppressor with the uh, clip-fed magazine as well. Uh, even this guy with the helmet, if I don't miss, the helmet's not going to help him against that. <laughs> Um, and suppressed as well, which is just insane that you can suppress a 50 cal weapon. Um, once again, if you got one of these, play cards are not going to be a problem for you anymore. Um, and also, before I forget to mention, the uh, this character is packing the Shinari blunt weapon, which is basically like a samurai training sword. Pretty awesome. Made out of wood. It's still pretty effective, actually. The stats aren't horrible. It's very quiet and... Speedy. Okay, next we have these 5.56 five, weapons, starting off with the Bolt Scout. Once again, basic rifle. 5.56, five, obviously, so it's pretty powerful. No scopage or uh, semi-auto fire. Sounds like it means business. Bolt action as well, so uh, it won't jam or break on you. Pretty nice to uh, introduce into the 5.56 five, weapon. After that, you get the upgraded version, which is the Hunter's Bolt Scout. Now, this is one of my favorite guns for a long time. It holds 11 rounds, it has the super accurate scope on it, uh, and with a suppressor on it, it's really nice to have. Uh, once again, 5.56 ammo. I, I really liked it because of the A, the scoping, B, with the suppressor, it wasn't too loud, and C, you didn't burn through your 5.56 too, too fast because it's kind of hard to come by at the start. Um, next up, we have the basic M41A assault rifle. Comes in single burst or auto. Uh, it's the first M4 that you get to uh, get your hands on. It looks pretty nice. Pretty good gun. Following that, though, you get the sighted M4, which is basically the same thing, except it has a sight on it. After that, you got the operator's M41A. Once again, basically the same thing, except it has a better sight on it and a drum-fed magazine that holds 51 rounds. Uh, once you step up from that one, you get the M4X1 DMR Heavy. Basically the same drum magazine again, except it has a 4 times scope on it as well. And then if you're lucky enough to find the upgraded version, the best M4 gun in the game, it's the X2 Lite SSW. It has a dual drum fed magazine with a hundred rounds and a holographic sight on it as well. Absolutely insane weapon. This thing on full auto will just never empty. Till it breaks. Gems all clear. More of Ridiculous those. how fast it ruins uh, your ammo stash. But anyway, great gun. So next up we have the X36C. Uh, it's basically a weapon we that you get with fun. the We're gonna be okay. premium version of the game when you ordered the uh, Ultimate Edition. Um, it comes with a built-in sight and a built-in suppressor, which is kind of nice. Awesome gun. Um, very weird looking too. Like, the barrel on it looks like it should be out of fire. It's something way bigger. Um, yeah, great gun. But once again, if you didn't get the Ultimate Edition of the game, you'll never see it. Not in your own hands anyway. Single or burst only, by the way. Cool gun to have, though. Super handy right at the start when you don't have anything yet. Uh, moving on, then you've got the normal standard AR-15 that everybody finds. It's basically the M4 without the fancy bits on it. It only fires single, and it doesn't have any sights or optics. Sounds pretty nice, though. But anyway, f next up you get the Raiders AR-15, which is basically the same gun. However, it's now got a l much larger uh, magazine on it. It's only full auto, and don't ask me how I got 966 rounds in this one. It's meant to only have 50. Still a pretty cool gun. And last but not least, my personal favorite weapon in the game is the GSG-W. Um, it's basically an upgraded version of the AR-15. It comes with an optic though and with a, a nice tip on the end, a, a suppressor or a, um, a break. It is absolutely one of the most accurate and fun game, guns in the game. By far. Absolutely deadly. My personal favorite gun. Really, really good. Anyway, moving on. Next up, we have the shotgun starting with uh, the Model 870, which is the basic pump-action shotgun. 
I highly recommend these guns for people who don't really aim that well, because uh, because of their widespread, basically. It's kind of hard to miss. That's just the basic shotgun. Moving on, we have the 870 Sawn-Off version, which is basically a cut-down barrel version of that same gun. We left our Pretty decent. Lying around, and now they're all fucked up. Next up, we have the C1-A Ursus, which is more of a uh, an assault team shotgun. Pretty badass. Still pump. Uh, no optics, though, but way cooler looking. And uh, buys a way bigger spread. Just don't try and use it at range. Next up, though, we have the CM1-A Breacher. This is basically an upgraded version of the gun we were just using. Uh, it, it has the optic on it, which kind of makes it nice. Very cool gun. Especially with the optic on it, makes it pretty nice. Don't kill the messenger. Very awesome gun. After that, we have the 930 SPX, which is basically a semi-auto shotgun. Doesn't need to be pumped. Once again, a SWAT team favorite around the globe. Uh, once again, great gun. Nice widespread for people that don't aim well. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, after that, we have the Kodiak, which is just one of the more crazy guns in the game. It comes with a huge AK-shaped uh, magazine. Uh, it's just mental. Like, look at the size of the crosshairs on this thing. It nearly takes up half the screen. Once again, if you don't aim good, it's kind of hard to miss when your bullet, you know, takes up this much of the screen. Awesome gun. It also has a big brother called the Kodiak XL, or Extra Large. Uh, basically the same gun, except it comes with this gigantic barrel magazine, and it has an optic to make uh, your life a bit easier. 31 shots, semi-auto, with an optic. It's kind of hard to miss when uh, those are the sort of stuff you get to use. Um, after that we have the R12, which is the basic version of the Infiltrator. Um, it doesn't have a sight or anything, another semi-auto magazine-fed gun. Once again, big optics, or big uh, sight for people that struggle to hit things. Then you got the upgraded version, which is the Dev Guru X12. Um, it has an optic on it that's actually really accurate for a shotgun, and once again, a giant barrel magazine. It gives it a total of 30 shots. It also comes with a full auto mode when you're having a problem with a plague heart. I'm empty here. Great gun. Um, second last we have the KSG, which is kind of, it's kind of like the, I call it the baby down version of the, um, AA-12. It's only single shot, once again it's a, it's more like a futuristic pump. Shotgun. Pretty nice. Good sound, good damage, good accuracy. Would be better with a scope, but it doesn't have one. Uh, a really nice shotgun to have. And lastly, be not, not least, we have the AA-12, the infamous AA-12. No scoping there, but not needed. It's a fully auto, just ridiculous shotgun. They're super light, too, by the way. The real ones are. Are they in the game? 15 libs? Yeah, they're kind of light. Um, once again, if you're having a problem with the Plague Heart. Out of ammo now. This will take care of it in one magazine. No problemo. Uh, moving on. Next up, we have the 762 Assault Rifle variants. Um, starting off, we have the Plain Jane Scar. It holds 21 mag magazines. 21 magazines! It holds 21 bullets, um, single or burst or full auto. No optics though, just iron sights. It's a pretty decent gun, just that sound though, that ting. Great gun. Just the uh, basic scar there. Moving on next though, we have the sighted scar, which is basically the same gun, except it has a scope aiming into a holographic. I'm not sure exactly how that works. It also holds 21 bullets. It's considered the heavy f configuration, but it's just got these weird optics. I don't have no idea why they put both of them on there. It seems like that's maybe a glitch. Uh, and last but not least, we have the Red Talon version, which is the RTX Stormbringer, which is black with that Red Talon double stripe paint job, which also has a drum-fed magazine with a optic on it. Super great gun. This is probably one of the best guns in the game. Uh, that's optic zoom making it very versatile, and the full auto mode as well, also making it super good for attacking play cards and that sort of stuff. And of course it has that ting sound that I love so much.
you should reload. Great gun, that. Moving on, we have the basic plain Jane AK, which apparently I just reloaded. Um, once again, single or full auto only. I mean, it doesn't have an optic, but it's still reasonably accurate. Um, great gun, considering this is the base version. Still an excellent weapon. Uh, looking at the upgraded versions, you can also get the sighted AK, which is the same gun bar, a side on it. And then the custom AK, which is, it has a slightly bigger magazine and a better sight. Uh, after that, you get the Prepper's AK-47, which is basically the same gun again with a different sight and a larger drum, 40 rounds this time. And then, of course, you get the insane Internals Guard Infinite Rage, which has this ridiculous monster drum magazine on it and a four times optic sight, which is just, it is absolutely one of the craziest guns in the game. The zoom is insane. How accurate it is is just mind boggling. And then, of course, you can flick it over to full auto if you're having a problem with anything. A tank. And uh, it'll keep firing till it breaks, but whatever's standing in front of you, well, whatever's left of whatever was standing in front of you won't be too happy of what you've just done to it. Don't they know I'm trying to make a video? So fucking tired. Let's make this mag count, kiddos. And I'm out. Once again, the ridiculous magazine, and as I said, it kills anything in the game. And, uh, you know, whatever's left of whatever was shooting at you will be angry at you, but very dead. Crazy gun. Absolutely crazy. So next up, we're looking at the grenade launchers. Uh, first of all, we have the M203 standalone, which is basically a single shot grenade launcher. It fires one grenade. Fire in the hole! It makes a big kaboom. Pretty nice looking too. Uh, all the guys that live in my base defend my base with these guns. They're just insane. Uh, next up, we have the M32 MGL, which is basically a six-shot uh, grenade launcher with a drum on it. Pretty nice. It uses that, like, revolving chamber-type drum to load itself. Uh, don't ask me how I got 955 rounds loaded into this one, but uh, pretty crazy. You can just stand here and just keep shooting everything that moves. Not that I can see what's moving, but apparently over that way. Let's do some skydiving while I'm testing this gun. Let's see if I can make this car blow up. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, but the grenade launchers are the most fun gun in the game. <laughs> just to see bodies just flying through the air is just... It's ridiculous. Fantastic. We've got a screamer. Uh, and last but not least, we have the BML 40, which is basically the even bigger magazine grenade launcher. It has that drum fed magazine again, and it shoots a little bit faster than the other one, but just as good. That was my last shot. Wow, the cars are actually really tough in this game. Uh, moving on, we have the 357 weapons. Uh, starting off with the Viper, which is the 357 round, or the 357 revolver. Awesome looking gun. Love that red tip iron sights, and the it looks like it has a porcelain uh, grip there. Not the strongest. Well, it is one of the stronger rifles or pistols in the game. Sorry, um, but. Yeah, great gun. It really needs an optic sight to make it a fantastic gun. Uh, definitely makes a big hole in anything you shoot. My last and shot. it shoots pretty quick. Uh, the upgraded version... No, the, the Tassie Devil, sorry, is next. Uh, once again, another revolver. It's kind of small, it's like a little snub-nosed revolver. Pretty cool gun. It's uh, 
I call it a handbag gun, Last but shot. Eh. Once again, headshots, no sights, no order. Pretty cool. Uh, next we have the P226, which is uh, a slightly bigger semi-auto version. Cool gun again, sounds cool. Uh, single shot only. And of course you have the upgraded version, which is the P226 Elite, which comes with that huge extended magazine and uh, optic sight. Still only single, but pretty accurate actually for a... You know, a, meant to be a big, high caliber pistol. Too bad there's no zombies for me to shoot at the moment. I've killed everything. Not a single zombie. Nope, they're all dead. But, uh, once again, a very cool pistol. Moving on. Before I forget, I also want to mention that this character is carrying the Persian meal weapon, which is basically this gigantic... I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a baseball bat that ate too much. Um, it makes a very funny sound when you hit things with it. Can we find something to smack with it real quick? There's got to be something to smack. I just love the dunk sound it makes. Uh. Boom. I need a break. Boom. It sounds like it's metal but hollow. Really weird weapon. Um, very funny if you find it and use it though. Very cool. So next up we have the 762 rifles. So not the assault rifles, just the normal rifles. Um, starting off with the Model 70 Classic. Hey, uh, you might a pretty powerful rifle. Quick. Like the bang that it makes is just super loud. Not very accurate though with those iron sights and uh, not the world's fastest gun in the world to reload. <laughs> One bullet at a time. Eh. But uh, it makes a big hole, it does the trick. Once again, being a bolt action, it never jams or breaks, which is pretty nice. Moving on, we use also the Model 70 Heirloom version. Sorry, the Heirloom version. version. Yeah, Heirloom version. Comes with this really old school looking scope. That Han Solo style, tubey type scope. Pretty, like, really accurate. As long as you don't miss. Time to reload. Once again, those one bullet at a time reloads. Painful. Painful to reload. We also have the Hunter's version, which basically has uh, that same scope again. And uh, the single reload. But also super, super accurate. Very much like the, uh, the heirloom version. I guess the heirloom version just looks a bit older. Moving on, we have the M14 DMR, which is... Pretty nice. It's the, uh... It looks badass. Like, seriously. Look at the scope on that thing. And the sound that it makes. Great gun. Once again, one of my favorite guns. Till I found the Red Talon version, which we'll go through in a second. Great gun. Uh, moving on, we have the... RTX Horde Breaker. I don't know what I've done, but I've mixed them up now, so... Eh. Uh, once again, it's the Red Talon version of that gun we are just using in sports, that black with the red stripe paint job. The double scope into holographic sight with the drum barrel magazine as well. It also has burst fire, which is kind of crazy for a rifle. Um, that should reload. It shoots like a ridiculous bullet, a ridiculously far Last distance. mags, loaded and ready. Can I see something really far away to shoot at? Oh, that sign. Semi-auto, and if you swig it on boast, it's just ridiculous. Shit. One of the craziest guns you'll ever see. Uh, next up, we have the Arctic Warrior, which is basically the AWM. Uh, the standard version comes with a tiny little scope. Uh, makes a very big boom. Bold action once again, so it won't ever jam or break, and it has that camo paint job in it, which is pretty cool. Um, if you're lucky enough to find the Spec Ops version, it comes with a way bigger scope. Which is uh, pretty awesome. Once again, never jams or breaks because it's a bolt action. Lastly, but not least, we have the... Where is it? The M4A1. Once again, like an old school World War II rifle. It has that old school scope on it. 
And uh, just a beast of a weapon. This is one of my favorite guns for a long time. It shoots really fast. Uh, it has that like old school sound to it, plus a scope, pretty nice, and it reloads pretty quick too. More of those. Great gun, that. So last of all, we have the infamous test guns. Now, since the last patch, the test guns have been locked, so you can no longer pull them out of your stash. I actually have two tif different test guns that most people thought there was only one, but there actually is multiple different types. I've never seen any more different ones than the two that I have. Um, one looked like an AK with a, um, a 50 cal mag shoved in it, somehow. And the other one's in this other video that I made a few weeks ago, which we'll look at now. That's fucking awesome. It's Christmas for you, Santa noticed you behaved. Thank you, Stan. Appreciate it. <laughs> Christmas for everybody. Wow, that's a cool gun. Amazing. So uh, if you want to know what the test gun looks like, there it is. And if you want to know what the Thor hammer looks like, whoop, there it is. I Come I on, Farrell, I got a present Feral. for you. Wow, I blew its head clean off. Look at the size of the bullets that come out of the damn thing. Oh, wow. It doesn't reload. Maybe if I uh, pick up some bullets and reload it. But anyway, that's the test gun. Uh, the one that was given to me did come with 999 bullets, and I was told that it would reload automatically once it emptied. It did not. Uh, once it emptied, I had to reload it with 50 cal ammo, because, um, yeah, they disabled the aspect of it auto-reloading itself. And then they disabled the gun altogether. You cannot pull it out of your stash if you have it. It's a collector's item. You can never use it, though. But uh, a very cool weapon. As I said, there's two of them, not one. <laughs> Once again, I tried to rush through today's video super quickly because uh, basically the last video that we did, the last gun guide that we did, went for over an hour, which was just insane. Um, make sure you check out that if you want to see a more slower, more thorough version of the guns that I had at the time. I will be making another one of these when uh, when I get all the DLC guns, which I haven't found any of yet, apart from the ones they give you at the start. Fire in the hole! But I uh, will keep an eye out for all of those. Also, make sure you hit like the subscribe button to be sure to check out the rest of our videos on Spotify playlist and the Facebook page. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, make sure you check out our Trade Network video, which I'll link somewhere up there. Um, also, make sure you check out our 100 Day Survival, which I'll link somewhere over there. And uh, also, if you want to sort your inventory in order of, uh, you know, I have my ammo at the top, then the... Uh, Parts second, and then the guns all down the bottom. If you want to do that to your inventory as well, then also check out this video over there. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay mighty. Peace. See ya. Bye. Lastly, if you have a gun that I didn't mention in this video, can you please post it in the comments down below? And if you could link me a picture in my Discord, which is also in the description down below, that would be super appreciated as well. No more of those.